The island was full of rich and famous. And this was the clubhouse. Uh, oh, the clubhouse? Yeah, if you go on by a uh, public way. So this is our friend Frenchie and she runs a uh, <laughs> My Island Wi-Fi here, Great Harbor Key in the Berry Islands. And she's giving us a little tour of the island. With this tree too, don't touch it. Okay. It's the poison wood. Poison wood, okay. Yes. If you touch it, you will hate it. Because it gives you a kind of chemical rush. So that's it also. But my house, I have some more big like this. <laughs> poison wood. And I knew we would catch up And that we would be the ones left behind Stories I've been told They never seem to leave my mind Ooh, On this road that I am on I gotta stay here for some time When we're traveling through the Bahamas, we rarely rent a car, so we're pretty limited exploring the bigger islands. It was really cool to have Frenchie, who lives on the island, take us around to all her favorite spots. And getting around by car allowed us to see all the interior of the island and allowed us to see so much more than we would have by dinghy or by foot. We're on the top of the world, my dear. You guys get a uh, surf lunch? Somehow made it through without losing sight And I still wonder where you are And if you fell away from the dark The stories I've been told Oh my God! Never seem to leave my mind On this road that I am on Gotta stay here for some time Frenchie even took us and showed us her house on the island where she has a parrot named Fruit Loop, a little dog named Poupe, and a bunch of chickens and a rooster. Oh, 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 my goodness. Hold Jenny. Oh, Jenny's like, what? Hello, pretty baby. Hello. Say hi. Hello, pretty baby. Hello. Hello. And my property. Hello. Fruit Loop! Oh. Hello. You're hello? Oh, hello! <laughs> oh. Hey. Hello. Hello. Hey, baby! Good girl. Uh, oh I God, can text so it cute. to you. Oh, 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 Beautiful. Yeah. Jenny! Hello? Uh, I have six N and uh, there are two are probably pooping eggs. Okay. <laughs> I have six N and, uh, and a male. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Bye. That was like an oven already. What are we doing? Today we're leaving. We're going to a secret spot.
Catherine. All right, we're sailing. We just left Great Harbor Key and we had an awesome stay. If you guys have been following along, we stopped here last year, but only for like a day or two. Um, we didn't really get a chance to check out the whole island, but this time we did, or not even the whole island this time, but this time we got a chance to hit the beach and we went up, uh, Frenchie took us for a little tour up on the north side of the island and um, pretty cool stuff. We still, we could have spent another few days here like going into the caves and then going down to Shark Creek and doing stuff like that. Um, but we do want to get over on the ocean side, the deep, deeper water side, uh, to get my, my mom and sister into some clear, like, blue water with really nice reefs uh, from the boat before they leave tomorrow. So, you guys know that we don't normally stay in marinas, but um, we had to clear into customs. This was our first stop, so we had to check in, and we have two extra guests, so we figured it'd be a nice way to clear customs easy and just to have easy access for everyone to get on and off the boat for a couple days it was so, great to eat kind of ease into it this time yes. like from marina so it was awesome great harbor key marina was amazing the staff the, yeah, was the super people, nice people were so nice pete tonight on thursday live music the and one of the employee um what was it? king king one of the workers at the marina amazing voice we met some really cool people too the boaters in there um uh, Jeff and um, yes. Dee Dee and I, like all those people. Everyone was super nice. So if you're in the area, beautiful place to go. Now we are heading around the edge. All right, let's see if we can. We are going somewhere. Where are we going? Like somewhere in here? I think that's Hoffman's. And to do that, we can. There is a way to get through here from the backside if you have a shallow draft. We're like kind of pushing it with like a three six, three eight foot draft. We could do it at high tide, um, but high tide's not for a few hours and we don't really want to risk it. So we're just gonna do a nice easy sail around the top of the berries here. This is great stirrup. This is where all the cruise ships are. All the cruise ships go up there, great stirrup, and there's like cocoa key and stuff like that. So we're just gonna sail around the point and then we're gonna be to windward, coming down this side all the way down to around that's fish market right around here i think we're just flying with the genoa right now we're going dead downwind and then as soon as we start to turn that corner we'll be able to put our main up and that should be nice of Great Stirrup Key. We just rounded the corner and now we're like kind of on the, the windward side. We're close hauled, going the windward. We have one reef in the mainsail and the full Jenna was out still. So probably need to put another reef in that, but I just hate, even though it's built to have reefs in it, I don't like the shape it gets into when, when we have to reef it. So I think the wind's only like 15 knots. We don't have an anemometer or anything. When I estimate the wind speed, I just look at the water and use my kiteboard instructor experience to estimate. Whitecaps just start forming at 12 knots around, 11, 12 knots. Definitely have some whitecaps out here, but it's not crazy. And we're averaging about eight knots into the wind, which I think is pretty good, especially with some bumpy seas, probably two to three foot waves, occasional four. Bow's getting a little wet. How are you guys doing? Awesome. Oh yeah, there's the cruise ships back there. They're like building, they're doing a ton of construction over there. It looks like a whole freaking water park going up on Great Stirrup or, or Coco Key or whatever it is over there. For all the cruise ship people. 
It's kind of funny. That's like, that's definitely not our thing. We would much prefer to be out on our own in nature, like doing our own thing and not on a cruise ship island. Some people love it, which is great. And uh, they're doing all this construction. Uh, building that stuff and we talked to one of the locals on Great Harbor Key because a lot of the workers who are, are work for the cruise ship companies and the construction and all that live on Great Stirrup Key and um, the person we were talking to yesterday was telling us that it, it like some people have mixed feelings about it like it brings a lot of jobs and money to the area and then there's a lot of people don't like it just because it's like well, probably for obvious reasons and then maybe some environmental reasons and stuff like that just a thought that we heard from a local the person who told us was kind of sounded like they understood both th sides of the story i don't know if they had a very strong opinion either way but just interesting Expected what you say? Yeah, part of it. Gotta work out the tweaks going the windward. We have arrived at our anchorage. We're gonna drop the hook, take the thing out, go find some fish. Catherine, are you ready? Yeah. We just did a lowdown on all the fish species that we like to get here, so Catherine's gonna attempt to get her first fish. Get some dinner? Heck yeah! First dive of the Bahamas, and we got fillet that side already. Got ourselves some nice hogfish. So the guy's pretty big. Flying him up with the dullest knife in the world. Did you guys have a good day today? The best ever. Sunset. We have some cauliflower, quinoa, coconut mashed sweet potatoes, and fish for dinner. Who wants to blow the concorn? Concorn. <laughs> like this. <laughs> Don't pass out. <laughs> Looser. Looser. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here and supporting us. We couldn't do it without you, so thank you. If you want to support a little bit more, you can like, comment, subscribe, any of those. You could also go check out the Tula shop and wear some of our very own Tula swag. We also have some new stuff in the shop right now. We worked really hard to get a very detailed sketch of adrenaline, so if you're into our big refit and the looks of our boat, then definitely go check out those as well.